What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Monty back again doing another five minute cigar review. And today's cigar is the Room 101 El Mas Chingon. C H I N G O N. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Could be Chingon, Chingon. I don't know. Chingon is what I'm going with. The Room 101 by Matt Booth, who, by the way, I interviewed. Uh, just recently at the Rocky Mountain Cigar Festival. Real nice dude. A little quirky, but real cool dude. Had fun uh, talking to him. <clears throat> Got a lot of new stuff coming out. I don't know how new this is. I haven't seen it before, but I picked it up. Not at the Cigar Festival, but at a cigar shop not far from my house. It's a very well-constructed cigar, as you can see. This is the big one. I think this is the number four. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. But it's the seven and a half by uh, 60 ring gauge. Big cigar should last me a few hours, a couple hours at least. I've been working on that for about half an hour, as you can see. Not much of a dent in it. Nice, smooth draw. It's it's a not a super tight pack in there, but just tight enough where you're not. It's not too easy, but it's not too hard. You know, it's just about the perfect draw. Um, good tight ash. You can't really see there. I've tapped it off a couple times, but nice tight ash. And as I've said before, I love a tight ash. So let me tell you what's in the cigar. I had to write it down because as I get older, my memory ain't so good. Uh, the wrapper is an Ecuadorian Habano 2000. The binder is Honduran Corojo. And the filler is Dominican Republic, Honduran, and Mexican. So you got uh, Ecuadorian, Honduran, Dominican, and Mexican. Four countries for different leaves, which gives you a nice, bold, but not, I wouldn't say it's a full-bodied cigar. I'd say it's mild to medium for me. Um, I think, I, I, try, I, I told you before, I try not to read the flavor profiles, but I read up a little bit on the cigars. And I think it was listed as a medium to full, but... Probably the more I smoke cigars, those medium to fulls, if they're not really full, then it's probably mild to medium for me. But I smoke probably too many cigars. Anyway, again, nice nice package. Good construction. Flavors are pretty good, though. It's a very, very mild spice to it. I taste a little bit of woodiness, um, a little earthiness, and something kind of sweet. My... Uh, my brain is telling me, because I've told you before, I don't really know what cedar tastes like. But I'm thinking that's what that woodiness is, because it's got a little bit of sweetness. And when I think of sweet wood, I think of cedar. So, um, or my woman might think of me. Anyway, uh, sweet wood, get it? No? Alright. So, a little sweetness, a little woody, a little earthy, a little bit of spice. But a pretty good flavor profile. It's not, as I go down, you know, let me... Uh, jump off track here a little bit. I've looked at some other cigar reviews and they give you know the first third second third As you notice, I don't do that. I just what I usually do is I smoke the cigar um, Once and then I come back and I just try to give you everything all at once You know on tape. I give you what I I give you the second cigar I've smoked does that make sense? So I've already got the flavors so I don't have to give you that because I'm trying to do it in five minutes And I don't use the pause button the last time I tried to use the pause button. I screwed up lost the whole thing so I don't do that. I just give you what I get. You get what I give you. You know what I'm saying. Hey, also, don't want to forget, don't forget to like and subscribe. I know my videos are a little bit goofy, a little quirky, but I'm hoping you guys enjoy them. It's not just a, and I'm not putting down any other cigar reviewer, but I've watched a few of them. Some of them are a little uh, boring. There's a couple of them that keep you interesting, and I like, keep you interested, and I like those. So I'm hoping that I do the same. Um, with my little quirkiness, my little goofiness. Uh, Chagone, El Mas, Room 101. Said that backwards. I'm not dyslexic, but said it backwards. Anyway, go check it out. Um, it's not a very expensive stick. I'm going to try to start adding that to my reviews, too. Give you a little price point on it. I think this one goes for about 8 bucks. Uh, so not very pricey, but a good stick. For 8 bucks, I have to say it's a, it's a really good stick. And gets the head nod. So there you have it. Real quick, um, as always, five minutes, trying to keep it under five minutes at 4.52. Going to run out of time. Got to go. But go check out the Room 101 El Mas Chingon 
It's a little nutty, or not nutty, little earthy, little woody, maybe cedar, a little spicy, got a sweetness to it, and good construction. You guys check it out, and you will see me soon. Peace out.